Our world is always moving forwards, continuously creating and producing new innovative products and technologies. But our modern research and developments extend beyond our latest phone model or the newest medicine breakthrough. Some of the most fundamental research we carry out today focuses on unveiling past mysteries and rediscovering the lives of societies who shaped the world as we know it. From ancient societies' traditions and rituals to places we did not know existed, there are many unanswered questions within our history books. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries that have provided us with a glimpse into human history. Mysterious rumblings from inside Mars detected by NASA lander NASA's InSight lander detected a mysterious rumbling from inside Mars. While it is unclear currently what these rumblings are, early reports from scientists are that they could be due to a sudden release of energy from the center of Mars. What scientists do know is that the rumblings are thought to have begun in a place known as Cerberus Fosse a place on Mars where there have been two other reports of similar seismic activity. Whilst any similar behavior like this on Earth would more than likely be labeled an earthquake, Mars quakes are not the same thing. According to leading scientist Dr. Kawamura, there are two types of quakes that occur on Mars. One is likened to a moonquake and one similar to that of an earthquake. These rumblings are being compared to more of an Earth-like quake. Interestingly, the InSight Mars lander had captured similar strong seismic events a year ago. One of the theories is that because Mars has active volcanic regions that can cause similar rumblings, the idea is that these regions are causing the rumblings. The InSight lander's seismometer is incredibly sensitive and fortunately for scientists, this discovery comes as the windy season on Mars is dying down. Scientists have said that these winds on Mars can directly affect these sensors, so collecting data is much easier when these storms aren't so disruptive. NASA plans to keep the seismometer active for a couple of months. During that time, they hope that InSight can record some more data that will help scientists better understand this mysterious phenomenon. Deep in a cave, Neanderthals constructed mysterious ring structures 176,000 years ago. Before the arrival of Homo sapiens in Europe, Neanderthals explored the old continent in search of caves in which to protect themselves from the climate and predators. One of these places is the Brunekel Cave, east of Montauban, southeast of France, since 1990. Numerous bones and marks of the passage of these hominids have been found. One of these findings is now described in the journal Nature. At a depth of 336 meters, the researchers found up to 400 stalagmites cut and accumulated in four rings. For the team, this did not appear to be a coincidence. By dating its age, the experts calculate that this composition is between 176,000 and 200,000 years old, a period that corresponds to the presence of the first Neanderthals in Europe, and about 140,000 years before the arrival of modern man on the continent. According to the researchers, the finding gives strength to the theory that Neanderthals already used complex expressive skills such as symbolic language. These structures, called speleofacts by scientists, accumulate a total weight of 2.2 tons and 112 meters in length. The Neanderthals aligned them in four rows of circles and stacked them, after tearing them from the cave wall. The realization of the rings was carefully planned, say the researchers, because they used stalagmites of similar size. To avoid collapse, the figures were propped up. In addition, traces of construction elements and traces on the walls from which the stalagmites were extracted have been found in the area. But the meaning and function of this composition is a mystery. Being located in the depth of the cave, where light barely reaches, the team, led by Jacques Jabeur, professor of prehistory at the University of Bordeaux in France, suggests that it could have ritual purposes, but does not rule out that the Neanderthals used this space to store the water that filtered through the walls. This discovery astonishes researchers, as it is not only the oldest evidence of the Neanderthals' building capacity, but also of their control of fire before the arrival of Homo sapiens in Europe. Ahotep I, Ancient Egyptian Warrior Queen Often an overlooked queen, Ahotep is one of the greatest Egyptian queens to have lived. 
Whilst we do not recite her name as frequently as we do Cleopatra or Nefertiti, her work was incredibly valuable to Egyptian society, and yet a great deal of her life continues to remain somewhat of a mystery. Still, the story that we have unraveled so far describes a strong, powerful woman, to say the least. Ahotep was born into a high-status family, royal, and in the courts. Daughter to a politically valuable queen, it is unsurprising Ahotep wanted to take a path of leadership too. Throughout her life, Ahotep moved her way through the courts, achieving a status higher than the princesses and becoming the mother to the pharaoh's children. It is believed that throughout her life, her political beliefs, ideologies, and actions reflected those of her father's. However, after the death of the pharaoh, Sekinenre Ta II, Ahotep's son took on the position, ending her own as pharaoh's wife. That is not to say she was ever complacent or worked purely domestically. Ahotep held an active role in battles and other military activities and events. She has been described as maintaining her own strength whilst holding the views and strength of a man. She rode a horse, held diplomatic views, and cared for the soldiers she was responsible for. We do not know what Ahotep's role officially was or if she ever did rule Egypt following the death of her son. We do know that her influence and role in the courts and the political scene was unusual for a woman and should not be dismissed. Researchers cannot determine when she passed away, though it is assumed to be under the reign of Thutmose I. Devastatingly, we may never know, as much of her grave was destroyed by research teams. In the mid-1800s, the expectations when excavating graves were far different to those in modern digs. With a clear goal to simply find the treasures people had been buried with in mind, the remainder of these graves were not treated with preservation nor the wondrous analysis we have today. The assumption is that in 1858, Auguste Mariette hired a team to excavate Dra Abu al Naga, in which they found a Hotep's burial site, supposedly marked King's Great Wife, and removed the gold items she had been buried alongside. Many think the workmen unwrapped her and simply threw the bandages to the side, preventing modern research practices from finding out what other secrets are hidden within them. Ahotep was buried with the ceremonial axe and jewellery that has since been recognised as a medal of sorts for soldiers with high ranks. So, following a haphazard excavation in 1858, the bones of this mysterious woman have disappeared. Some suggest she had been left in the desert, some believe she is on display in the Museum of Cairo. The life of this woman, whilst not fully known, appears to be remarkable, successful, and full of achievements. But what do you make of these amazing discoveries, and what will science find next? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.